Hey, you're here with the Patch Man, and we're just going to talk about quickly about these two graphic novels and these two books. Well, the one graphic novel is the book there. As you see, what we were living through. George Orwell, 1984, we got the graphic novel from Andrew a couple years ago. I read that one, that one's good, and obviously 1984. That's, let's make 1984 fiction again, you know? Then obviously we got some Slayer here. We know about predictive programming, that's why I did the video. It was 1984 was number one right there, and then we got some Slayer based off the album Repentless. Like, it is brutal if you like stuff like that. Like, look at it. Oh, Repentless, if you like those graphic novels. This is the main thing I wanted to talk about. Ready Player One is probably the second predictive programming I've read. Actually read, and I've seen lots of movies. But if you haven't seen this movie or read this book the book is definitely 20 out of 10 it's better but the movie's still 20 out of 10 too you know so you get a time check it out ready player one such a great and it should not say a novel it should say non-fiction because that's what we're living right now with their stupid apple headset bullshit do you want to be a living in a fake fucking program your whole life we already are doing it but double doing it you know one inside of an inside so yeah it's pretty crazy shit